Okay guys, today I will show you how to make fried butterfish. Butterfish is from Guyana and I will show you how to make it. Before I show you how to make the fried butterfish, um, let me show you how I season in my fish. First of all, I took one, one whole onion, couple flakes of garlic, couple, um, I took a bundle of scallion, couple chili pepper, some basil and fine leaf thyme. I put it into a blender and I puree it. So this is my mixture that I will be seasoning on my fish with. Then I washed my fish with two lemons. I cut it up and I washed it with two lemons. Then I took the blend seasoning, all fresh, and I seasoned my fish. Also I put a little bit of turmeric and some salt and that's how I season my fish. And I let it sit for an hour until it's all marinated. So now I'm going to go ahead and fry my fish. So to fry, get your fish fried, you have to get flour. You could use white flour or you could use whole wheat flour. I choose to use whole wheat flour today. So I'm going to go ahead and coat my fish with the flour. What I did, I put some... Um, vegetable oil into my pan and I put it to heat so I am going to go ahead and coat my fish now with the flour fully coated my fish with the flour just like that and I am going to drop it into the pan lay it down into the pan so it could fry golden brown and you continue to do this process until all of the fish is fully coated and you put it into the pan to fry. So I'm going to continue to coat my fish, lay it into the pan just like that, give it space so the fish could fry properly, golden brown. And this fish is fresh from Guyana. It's called butterfish. It's a scale fish. It's a fish similar to bangamberry. It's a very sweet fish. And this is exactly how you will fry the fish. And you could eat this with anything. You could have this with coca rice. You could have this with fried rice, vegetables, whatever you choose to have it with. And this is four butterfish I cut up into four pieces each. So now I'm going to let the fish fry on each side golden brown. And I am going to show you the finished product when the fish is completely done. going to make sure that it's golden brown on each side and it's fully cooked because you don't want to eat raw fish. <laughs> Not because you're eating raw fish. In my next video, um, if you want to see how to clean the fish, you could check out my next video which I show how to clean and prepare your fish. And I also have a video where I show you step by step how to go ahead and make your seasoning to season your fish. So you could check those two videos out. I am planning to 
post a video every Saturday. Um, you will be getting a video showing you how to cook. Uh, my video is contained of many different culture of cooking, not just one culture, not just Guyanese cooking, but I have different culture of cooking. So um, kindly, um, if you like my videos, kindly, kindly like my videos. If if um, if you're not subscribed, kindly subscribe to my videos. Um, give me the thumbs up and um, click the bell so you will always get notification when I upload a video. So this is the way. Let's see if the fish is ready to turn. Okay, now it's golden brown, so I'm gonna turn it to the side on the other side. Be very gentle when you're turning the fish, you don't want it to break. That is why you give it space so it's fry evenly and properly. Okay, that is how you want your fish to look like. Nice and golden brown on each side, fully cooked. So we're going to turn it again so the next side is cooked. Okay guys, so this set of the fish is finished frying, so I'm going to take it out. I'm going to lay it 
on my plate to drain it from all the excess oil. This is your finished product. This is how fry fish is being done. If you like my video, please subscribe, like and share, and kindly click on the bell so you could get notification whenever I post a new video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.